Hi, in this lesson we're going to learn how to edit control point curves. All right, so remember we have this particular control point curve right here with the points on. Now notice when the points are on, um, I can still select it. That's something that's new from Rhino 6. Rhino 5 used to have to deselect it in order to select it, so that's pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Just type in copy and I'm going to grab it and I'm going to move it up here and I'm going to hit escape. All right. Now, you'll notice in this particular curve here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight control points. What I can do is I can rebuild this curve, right? And I can make it have extra control points. So I'm going to select this control point curve and I'm just going to type in rebuild, right? And you can see up here, there it is. Type in rebuild. And I get this little fly out here and it says currently I have eight control points. Would I like to have 10 control points? It's also telling me it's a degree three curve. You can go uh, as low as one or as high as five in terms of the degree curve and you'll see that that actually changes things up a little bit. But we're going to go ahead back to three. We're going to talk about that more uh, a little bit later. All right. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and change it from eight control points to 99 control points and I'm going to hit OK. All right. Now you'll notice that as we look at these two curves they look exactly the same. But, and I'm just going to go ahead and turn its points on, you'll notice that this one down here has a lot more control points on it. Right. Now for the most part this is not a good idea. Really the fewer control points you can build a curve with the nicer the surface, the resulting surface that's created as a result of those curves is going to be. But there are times when you may actually want more control points. All right. Now, for example, remember down here, if I grab this point, it has a tremendous amount of influence over this curve. If I grab this point, it can only influence, remember, as far as two dots away two points away, right? So one thing that you can do with a control point curve that has 99 points is something like this, right? That would not have been possible, would not be possible to create that curve or this curve with this few control points, right? So that's the rebuild command. For the most part, what you want to do is rebuild it. You know, there may be reasons to rebuild. Maybe you need an odd number of control points. Maybe you are concerned. Generally, when you're rebuilding, you're simplifying and you're reducing the amount of control points. But there are reasons. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop this lesson right here. And in the next one, we're going to learn how to add and delete control points. Thank you very much.